apparently humans lose intelligence as they gain reality shows about toddlers wearing makeup. And, uh, but don't worry, we're still getting fatter. That we are doing. Uh, we thought this study would be a good basis for one of our pedestrian questions. So we went out onto Hollywood Boulevard today and we asked a bunch of people out on the street, are you stupid? Sometimes. Yes, I can be. <laughs> <laughs> and I make really stupid decisions, but it's cool because you only live once. Yellow. A study came out from Stanford University saying that human beings aren't as intelligent as they once were. Let me ask you a question. Are you stupid? Yeah, I, th I think so. I think uh, everything is, there's a lot of things in the world that make you stupid. You know, like internet and TV and uh, things. What is your name, sir? Thomas. Thomas, where are you from? Kansas. Thomas, are you stupid? No. What's your major? Uh, Kansas. Do you think the United States should consider military action against North Korea? I would say yes. And uh, where exactly is North Korea? Um, it's in, what, as far as on the map? Um, I don't know. I'm mm. horrible at geography. Mm. Take a guess. Up here somewhere? And where exactly is North Korea? Oh, God. Here we go. Um, uh, I'm gonna guess in, somewhere near here. And it's the Middle East, I think. Yeah, so no. You know what, I'm really good at geography, but this is very embarrassing, because I don't even remember where the f North Korea is. Somewhere around here? <laughs> Where is North Korea? Oh shoot. Um, I want to say somewhere in here. Mm. This is it's not over here. Australia. We've done nothing to us. <laughs> right there. Nope. Wrong again. <laughs> right there. That's India. Dang it. I don't know. Like maybe down here. Restart the Vietnam War. <laughs> I have no idea. Hey, in order to make an omelet, you gotta break a few eggs, right? Not a geographer, like. <laughs> there. No. There. Nope. There. You want a hint? Yeah. It's right above South Korea. <laughs> Who is our vice president? Isn't it a girl? Hillary Clinton. Oh, that's, um, I've seen that guy before. I feel bad, I'm not sure who that is. Is that Bill Clinton? A politician of sorts. Oh god, I don't remember his name. No, that is not Nixon. I don't know which one. No, I can't. That's Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Who is the vice president? Is that like a trick question? Nope. Okay. I don't know. Do you know what country the Panama Canal is in? Canada. South America. South America. Florida. Pakistan. It's Panama, isn't it? If donuts are 12 cents a dozen, how much do 100 donuts cost? 12 cents a dozen. Four, three, two, 50 cents. $2. Two dollars. Mm. 12 cents a dozen, 100 donuts, 100 and what, 120? $1.20. Can you use a calculator? $12. There you go. Wow, nice. Oh, a okay, dollar twenty? There we go. Um, twelve dollars. Uh, I don't do math, so a dollar twenty. In America, you have a right to be stupid. For two million years of evolution, our brains grew larger, but there's been a reversal. Our brains are now physically shrinking. Seventy percent of Americans are overweight, and obesity just hit an all-time high. 27.7% of the US population are obese. And did you know that obesity is directly linked with stupidity? Studies show that obese people have 8% less brain tissue than people of normal weight. The areas of the brain affected by this tissue loss relate to critical thinking and long-term memory. Obesity also hinders blood circulation around the brain, reducing intelligence and cognitive functioning. Eating fatty foods also has an immediate negative impact 
on short-term memory. So the fat pride movement, now being promoted by the media and the fashion industry, is not only encouraging chronic illnesses, it's institutionalizing the acceptance of stupidity. The solution lies in shaming these people. Dumb people should be idiocy shamed. It shouldn't be treated as acceptable to be completely ignorant of real issues or basic facts. But dominant mainstream culture has instead made cool moral relativism, dismantling vocabulary down to grunts and lame acronyms. Popular culture has been designed to create an army of morons. They've monetized apathy and stupor on an industrial scale. An entire generation has been tricked. The fallout from this, when it all goes wrong, is the obsession with expressing their unrequited narcissism through social media, which in turn makes them more depressed and more stupid. The ability to forge our own cultural narrative has been stolen from us. Our icons are fools. Celebrities who express original thoughts are publicly shamed. So is it any wonder that despite all our technology, all our progress, we're stupider than ever before.